just stand here. Oh, you hold it. Free speech, but he's going to hold the mic for me, okay? Uh, you can get... Unless you want to... I mean, see, see, you see how silly you're coming in, you're coming in ready, ready to fight. Interesting that he's holding the mic. All right, why don't you give her the mic? Let's, let's... Yeah, why don't you pass me the mic? <laughs> big win, big win. Okay. I was serious about the suit, by the way. So, you don't believe hate speech exists. No. And you... The Supreme Court agrees with me, by the way. Great. You and the rest of the people who are here with you, or who are supposed to be here with you, claim that people have a victimhood complex and that anything regarding racism or sexism or whatever ism it is that we're talking about is fake news and everybody is just out here wanting to be a victim as if that's something you know, that people, you know, I wake up every morning and I say, wow, how can I be a, vi a victim despite Dave Rubin or Charlie Kirk? I, I, so I just want to understand, do, but, I just want to understand. Yeah. What, like what does it take for for you know, folks on your end of the aisle to understand that people have lived experiences and who wake up every day, every single day in this country, whether you think their victimhood complex is real or not, and they don't feel like a part of this country. And you can sit and blame them all you want, but this campus is a great example right here. When we have people on this campus who are claiming that it is all sunshine and rainbows and they have the administration on their side and then the reality is that biased incidents reports and hate crimes have gone up yeah so and uh, people have been spit on and people have been threatened and people have been told to go home to their country even though they were born in fucking new jersey yeah so i just want to understand where is the like do, like do i have to get lynched like does somebody have to like murder me like does somebody have to like so there's kill me okay somebody have to physically you. harass me what will it take for it to be hate speech? And when do I actually become a victim? When I'm dead? OK. All right, great question. Great question. That's great. Yeah. All right, it's a great question. So first off, the Supreme Court has ruled that hate speech doesn't exist in that you can do basically, you can say whatever you want, short of yelling fire in a crowded theater or calling for direct violence to someone. So right now, you can say anything to me. You can literally say anything to me. I'm sure you're thinking of a couple things. And you can say whatever you want to me. And guess what? I'll, I'll survive. And that's the price that you have to pay to live in a free society. So let me kick it back to you for a second. So first off, you, there was a little uh, miscommunication in the way you presented that, which is, Racism exists. I don't think racism doesn't exist. Of course, there are bigoted people. There are people who are, are misogynist that may not like you because you're a woman. There are people that are, are, don't like gay people, so they won't like me. There are people that are truly prejudiced against black people in every other situation. The idea that the government can come in and manage and fix all of those things is crazy. And we live in a society that has done more to free more people than any other society truly in the history of the world. But I will kick it back to you for a second. So tell me about, tell me about your oppression. I mean, tell me about what you're dealing with and how the government can fix it. It doesn't mean that bad people don't exist, but tell me about your oppression. Maybe, maybe we can work through something. It's my favorite song. <laughs> Wait, that one was legit. It was your mom? Nice, all right. I mean, tell me about your oppression. What so I have no reason to sit and talk about my own oppression because that's just like mental energy. Well, that, I mean, like, unless I'm this. going to be paid to talk hate about my. Violence, violence. Hate speech, violence. Ladies. Hate speech, violence. Hate speech, violence. Ladies, ladies, hate I'll speech, gladly violence. take a question from you. Have we established that already? Okay, so so far we have some repetitive droning statements. And then when I kick it back to someone to ask about their oppression, she wants to be paid for it. You know what, I, let me see what I got here. No, why don't you PayPal me? Yeah, well, let me see what I can do here. Venmo me. I got, let's see what I got here, all right. 20 bucks. I got 20 bucks. I will pay you. I will pay you. Okay, so what would you prefer? What would you prefer that the government... Okay, guys, I get it. I don't want people to say bad things either. Ugh, all right. I wish I could get off to the sound of my own voice. Wouldn't that be awesome? 
you seem to get off the sound of your own voice, yeah. fam. See, you're you're angry. You're you're angry, and there's no reason to be angry. You're you're standing in front. I'm not of, angry. You're standing in front of someone that's truly that comes from the place that you are in right now. I was a lefty my entire life. I get it. I get it. Interesting how you've put a political label on me already. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's move on. We tried, but really, if you want to tell me your oppression, I'll give you twenty bucks. I'll I'm, gladly do first it. First of all. Yeah. Thanks. So easy with you guys. All right. Just took the words right. Yeah. She, she don't have to tell you. What's that? Oh. oh, she's tossing another twenty. All right, we got forty bucks for you. What What are you doing here? What, 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 don't you have hobbies? They have a First Amendment right to be here and yeah. say what they want to you. Well, you know, actually, part of the part of the freedom, part of the freedom and the contractual exchange we have as free people living in a free society is that you're not supposed to use your free speech to drown out someone else's. So I'm truly asking you. I am truly. So I just want to know. I just uh, again another no, 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 question. No, 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 no. Where okay. is this boundary where someone else's free speech is infringing on your free speech? You, you, when, I mean, when I told you those boundaries. Speech literally infringes on other people's existence. So I just no, wanna, but see, where's just, the boundary? You see, you're making you? up things. So look, you have I told you what the boundaries are. The boundaries are you can't yell fire in a crowded theater and you can't call directly for violence. But short of that, you are allowed in a free society. So to Dave, say, I just have a question. I would prefer those people. What's your not background? What's that? You are. What's your background? Right, you so are you can gay? play some ridiculous. No, no, I just have a question. I have a question. Yeah. You are gay and you are Jewish, correct? Yeah. So I abhor anti-Semitism. So by your own like standard and logic, people can say shit about the Jews. Yeah, you're oh, allowed. Really? You're allowed. And, and I have family on both sides of my family think, die in the Holocaust, and I grew up around Holocaust survivors. Do you think yeah. that the speech that is espoused against Jewish people does not promote violence against them? You are allowed to in a free society. I would prefer that people be nicer. Right? So I would you would prefer, prefer somebody espouse anti-Semitism, yeah. and that may or may not lead to violence against Jewish people. You can't directly people. call for violence to people, but what you can do, it's the exchange of freedom. Would you prefer- Do you think there's a correlation between hating Jews and wanting to kill them? Yes or no question. You're asking me quick. All right, well, all right, let's move on. Yes or no, I, like wow. I'm in a hostage situation over here. I can't yeah. believe that's like a not right. a question well, let's that you can't to, Let's move on to another question. I would, I would prefer that people not say bad shit about Jews or bad shit about Muslims or gay people or anyone, but the freedom... Yes or no question. All right, well, well, yes or, what was the question? The question is... Yeah. The question is... You guys are so tolerant. You guys are such good guys. You're such good please, guys. Please, okay. It's so fascinating yeah. that you claim the left has a victim complex. Yeah, we're yeah every that. time somebody yeah. yells at you, you also put on the victim complex. I'm not. I'm not anybody's victim. Whose victim am I? All right. Whose victim am I? Whose victim am I? I don't want anything from you. I want you to live your life in peace. Go, go live your Wait. life in peace. I don't want anything from you, and I don't want anything but, yeah. from you either. Yeah. All right. I just have a All question. Right. Let's, let's the question move on. Is, do you believe that? Do you believe that people who say they hate Jews I believe will should, not be likely to want to attack Jews? You, they yes, might, no question. They might You're be, a Jewish you have, man. I'm really yeah, shocked. They might be, but you have the right to say mean things in a free society. Do you, you think anti-Semitism is just a mean thing? Oh, Should we go? Yeah. Like, can I go to Hitler's grave and tell him, you know, it was just all a mean thing? Yeah, you can. Wow. You can. You can go to Hitler's grave and tell a dead person that uh, he was mean. You can. That's freedom. You know, That's your ancestors freedom. are rolling in their grave. That's what I can tell you right now. Yeah, my ancestors who, who died in a genocide are rolling in their grave. What yeah. leads to yeah. a genocide? What right, leads right, to violence? Right. Listen, listen, we, we've done it. We've Whoever done just it. called me pathetic. Yeah. No, who no cares? I'm asking him a question. How right. am I anti-Semitic when I'm saying, do you right. believe that listen. speech, hate speech against Jews will lead to violence? All right, so, well, let's move on. Let's move on. Well, I'm happy to do. I'll literally do this with all. Why? Of you. I just have a question. Like, like we're supposed to be having a civil discourse. Like, why? Why do you want me to shut up? I thought this was civil discourse. You realize there's a, there's a couple hundred people here that all would love to share their it's thoughts. It's not I a think, couple of hundred. I, I think I've get. Yeah. How are we doing right here? Here. 
Here, why don't we give this lady the mic right here in the red right here. Let's, let's mix it up. All right. Yeah, guys, other people have questions. Let's move on. See, this is the problem. You, you're not oppressed. You're entitled. That's I have your problem. Not, you know what's very yeah. interesting? You're not impressed. You think anyone what's came here? What's very interesting you think is that anyone nowhere came here to have I stated you? that Nobody I am oppressed. Nobody came here. Nobody came here for you. Sit down. Please listen Sit to me down. because I am speaking no. right now. I know nowhere in what I have said have I claimed I'm oppressed, so you just put those words in my mouth, All right. too. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I'm here practicing my First Amendment right. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give the mic Listen, to somebody pretty... out of respect. To whoever wants to shit talk me now when I put this mic yeah. down, I just want you to know that your opinion literally means bullshit to me. And if you agree with the concept, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a right to say it, so I'm going to say oh, it. So you have a right to offend them. Ah, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You I have can a right offend, to offend people ah, when can. they have a personal vendetta against my character. Ah. I'm not going after people. Ah, so you should be writing the laws of society and telling people who they can offend and who they can't offend and when and when they can't anybody do it. can offend yeah. anybody but uh, there's a huge difference between now saying anybody you can should anybody. die because good. you're jewish or black yeah and just normally being offended i don't want anyone to die because they're jewish i'm not black. saying that you're saying that yeah, you're but not i'm really saying, saying that when you espouse absolute saying free speech okay. that right, is let's what de facto on. you are right. endorsing yeah i don't think you know what de facto means either but all okay right, let's, let's i just want to let you know that yeah. i am a double major and i do research for actual organizations all right great Right. You literally do not know who I am. Yeah, I don't know who you, you are. You do not. I, I don't. So I don't, don't belittle know this guy me. Either. Uh, you know what's fascinating? Yeah. I have not gone. I have not said a single thing about your personal character up until this point. You, you have belittled me, said that I don't understand what words mean, have told me to shut up, have told me that I'm taking up space. Isn't that fascinating? So who really is the intolerant one here? Because all I've done is just talk pretty loudly on a mic. Okay. Unless you have a problem with a woman talking pretty loudly on a mic. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody else can get a question because I so graciously believe in free speech. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good, guys. This is this is what it's all about, really. This is what it's all about. It's a strawberry. Notice in the free society that we live in, no one's coming for you now. You can post that on Twitter. You can do whatever you want. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing.